Okay, fine. I give in, guys. Let's do it. Hello there, guys. Quaddy Afro here. Welcome back to another video. And today, uh, I've just wow. Uh, the response to just even just try this out was uh, too big for me to ignore. I suppose I really wanted to kind of do some more. SCR stuff before going venturing on to different other sort of Roblox stuff and I don't know what kind of series I'm gonna call this I, I I don't know if it will even be a series but I'll definitely kind of reinvent or return the sort of QWERTY tries series for this I suppose so it'll just be like a QWERTY tries a particular thing on Roblox or whatever maybe this might have more videos than than one I, I'm not too sure we'll see what what happens essentially so I am on I'm going to be doing Snow Hills lines uh, beta beta whatever you say I say beta it is beta it is beta it is it, it, it you understand what I'm saying no matter what so don't correct me I say it one way you can say it any other way you like I don't care but I'm doing the Snow Hill lines and it's something that you guys have been just bugging me since I started a Roblox series with Stepford County Railway on the channel. And I thought, OK, let's have a look at this. I have actually seen a bit of it around and it looks quite nice from what I've just briefly seen of it. But you guys really wanted me to check it out and give it a play. So I thought, why not? Let's have a go. Let's see what what's this all about. It is a beta. It is a, uh, it is still like work in progress with stuff. Uh, so let me just load up here for you guys so you can see what we are dealing with. Uh, there is right now it's muted with the sound. There is a uh, music that plays in the menu. I don't know if it would be copyrighted, so that's why I've muted the actual main menu music. But if you like that sort of thing, it's um, kind of a cool song to listen to while you're browsing through the menu so this is snow hill lines you can see more testing ensues uh stuff that they're doing with a map i'm not too sure uh what the kind of development cycle is with this uh with this map but uh i'm here to have a look and see what it's all about what we can do on it i know that there is basically it's based around the kind of snow hill lines of course into moore street into snow hill then to like dorich and uh whitlock i think it's called not too sure about these lines but uh, if we go here into driving the the multiple units that are available i think one thing it want it's quite actually a, quite a nice range of actual multiple units to drive a lot of of course of them are going to be diesel uh, multiple units or diesel electric multiple units nothing electric because most of these lines are not electrified so you're not going to see any sort of electric sort of stock on this but the the range of diesel stock is quite nice you have 150 158 165 168 170 172-0 172-23 uh you even have a prototype class 210 which is a pretty nice uh, addition 185 of course and then obviously 220 uh 221 Voyager and Super Voyagers. So you have a standard range from what I can tell where it's a it's a it's like a, in SCR it's like the paper trains but the difference here is that you still get an interior cab so you can zoom in into the cab and you actually get a nice detailed cab for each train. I don't know if it's for every single train the one I'm going to do in the video and when I test it out it does have a cab I don't know if all of them have one or not but I'm guessing the standard range have cabs fleshed out but they don't have saloon interior fleshed out and then there's an interior range which only right now which is available is a class 143 pacer train which <sighs> i will not be doing any time soon in a rush so maybe at some point but you know my opinions with pacers so in today's first kind of look or try kind of video on the Snow Hill lines, I'm going to do the class 168, but not the kind of typical one. I'm going to do the Clubman 168. I think the Clubman 168 is such a unique. I was thinking if I should do it in the old Chilton Railway liveries or in the new one. I'm not too sure. Maybe I could do, I'll do it in the old one for some nostalgia. The old Chilton Railway li livery is quite a nice kind of classic livery. The new one's all right, but the old one, I think more people are kind of familiar when they kind of look at that, they kind of see Chilton. But I like the 168. It's a very unique sort of class of train because 
a, it looks like a networker front cab, but the actual train itself is basically a uh, turbo star in a sense. It's a Bombardier turbo star, uh, but at the time when they were building these first turbo stars, they actually didn't flesh out the cab yet of the kind of one that you see here, the normal 168s uh, or even 170 or 172. Dash zero. That's the kind of cab that eventually came and formed the Turbo Star uh, kind of range for Bombardier. But when they were originally building it, and I do believe when they were originally building it, it wasn't Bombardier. It was A B B Trains or something like that. And then they acquired Bombardier acquired it. So essentially, when they these trains, the one six eights were getting built. These this was like a kind of like pre Turbo Star design and. The saloons are called the same like the normal turbo star but the front ends used like a kind of a prototype cab or just a cab that they knew to design similar to kind of like net uh, like a network uh, a turbo um network uh, um yeah turbo network uh. the one six sixes one six uh fives that sort of cab they kind of worked with and then they put it on the turbo uh turbo star so uh, that's the train I am going to use today. We're going to do in the nice Chilton uh, old livery. So let me just uh, sp spawn this in. Let's get the volume. Actually, no, the volume. We're going to go today in this video. We're going to go to Moore Street and then we'll pick a line to do either to like Dorridge or to Whitlock's end and then maybe in another video i'll do the snow hill and do the opposite so we kind of cover everything in the map uh so we'll go to more street i will bump the there we go and off we go so as i said the cabs are fully detailed and they're quite nice looking cabs obviously if you play SCR uh, this looks very sort of familiar in terms of like how a cab would look like in Roblox uh, the HUD is quite nice it's simple uh, a bit more kind of big and blocky in your face I guess this kind of HUD would look really good on a mobile phone or a tablet on a PC, it looks a little overkill and a little bit too big, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, the sounds seem pretty good as well. I quite like them. But look at that. Uh, the modeling is actually pretty nice for actually like a, a paper train, 2D kind of sort of train with no interior. It looks actually really good. And I actually do like the lights on the train. They look, they have like a nice. Uh, a nice glow to them. But we're just coming out of the depot here now and we're just heading to Moore Street as an ECS. So we're not doing picking up any sort of black passengers on the way. We're just going directly to the terminal so we can start a service back in the other direction. Uh, you have your little map kind of button here gives you all the stations that is available on the map you have like a horn button your doors button you can move the hud off the screen if you want a uh, little question mark button to kind of see the controls and then you can exit so pretty kind of self-explanatory stuff pretty simple stuff nothing too uh nothing too new wild or bizarre but I do like the cabs. Uh, you can adjust the uh, FOV, so you can you can uh, if I know how to if I knew <laughs> if I knew how to do it. You can you have to hover on it to to do it when you're like I think zoomed in or something like that. I'm not too sure. But once you're fully zoomed in, you can't use the mouse separately. You have to kind of kind of go a little bit off and then. But you can adjust the FOV. I'm not going to redo it because I think the FOV is fine for me. I find the controls for the train a little bit fiddly. Uh, getting it to coast properly is a little bit fiddly. Like, I don't know where the kind of center is. You obviously can't see the controllers behind my uh, face cam. But it's just like a red and green bar. Right now, I need, do need to start 
uh, breaking. I've also noticed that the signaling is a bit weird. Uh, I don't know if that's been fully set up on this map yet. I'm not too sure. The the signaling just allows things to go past but doesn't know if a train is occupying a section which is a bit weird and I'm not too sure. You do hear all the kind of stuff with the AWS bell, the AWS horn, all of that is kind of integrated. But when I loaded into a map with a lot of players and loads of players were spawning out of the depot going to say like Snow Hill, uh, no to Moore Street, uh, at this next signal, I do believe that sets you into the bay platforms at uh, at um, Moore Street. Everyone just can go past it. Like I go past this signal, and then it doesn't stay red if both uh, platforms are occupied. But that was when I was like in a busy server with a lot of players. So basically, I went forward ahead, and there was two trains already in the platform, and then I just like went through someone to kind of go into the platform. So I don't know if that's like you know things haven't been sorted out with the signaling yet I'm not too sure but the modeling of the trains I have to say is really good you saw like a steam train there pass with a uh, looked like a 47 locomotive as well but we are now coming into more streets now we can begin a service Potentially, where where would we where would we want to go? I'm not too sure. There we go. And then if you press T, like in Train Sim, doors open. Uh, and this is also again with the uh, the standard trains. The door, there's no door animations. I think maybe with the interior ones or the. Uh, the ones with the like the pacer train that's available you'll be able to I guess open the doors as well I'm not too sure but if we now select a route this is all very kind of reminiscent of SCR in terms of selecting routes and stuff like that so it's uh, it'll be very familiar if you're jumping from one to, to this one or want to try this one out and need to get used to it so there's a uh, there's to Dorich there's a service to Dorich and there's a service to Whitlock's End and there's either a fast service an express service or you can do a stopper service and there's a fast service to Dorich semi fast service to Dorich a stopper service to Dorich express to Dor uh, Dorich and then there's a fast to Whitlock's End and a slow to Whitlock's End. Now I kind of want to do. I kind of want to do the semi-fast. I'm going to, I'm going to do the semi-fast to Dorich because that we've kind of seen these stations on the past before, but we'll just go out past these stations, uh, past this kind of stations uh, to the depot, and then we'll go out and stop at all the other stations up to Dorich essentially. And at some point, maybe in the future, if I do another video of this, and we'll look at doing the Whitlock's End branch, and maybe we'll do like a fast, or you know, we'll see what we can, what we can do. I'm going to go into timetable mode. So timetable mode gives you gives the driver a set time to arrive and arriving will give more points on than free mode, but arriving late will drop the reward substantially. I don't mind, we'll try and stick to a timetable if we can. So this is now my train to Dorich. I do like more streets, very kind of like heritage looking, isn't it? But also, if you notice, we do have we do have uh, destination displays as well, which are very reminiscent of uh, Stafford County Railway as well. But obviously, this is kind of the same, maybe same sort of API and stuff used to kind of uh, script these kind of things, so they might obviously look similar. Right. So we're going to close the doors now. Get the uh, body side lights to go off as well. Don't know if there's any way of knowing if there's interlock, but we'll just assume that there is interlock and just to go with it. I have to say, the sounds are quite nice. Like, look, this is what I mean here. You see now the signal. The signal shows green, 
but there's a train occupying a section so I'm guessing signaling is definitely definitely not sorted or perfected yet on this um, on this map on this game because that should have been red not green or that train shouldn't be allowed into that section but I, I can see maybe obviously the signaling is in is still like a preliminary sort of early stage so I'm not gonna knock it uh, for not doing that if this is the final form of signaling obviously then that would be pretty bad but I'm guessing this is still in beta so it's you know I really do like the uh, the models and just the uh, the animation of the game looks quite nice also feels rather um, rather smooth actually quite nicely optimized You see that signal probably would wouldn't have been wouldn't have been read there while I was crossing over. So, but off we pop. We're gonna gain a little bit of speed here. Now the thing is, I don't know. I don't know where I am. Like obviously, I know I can roughly know that up to the depot we're passing. We're passing like a few of these stations but I don't know how far a station is yet if you know what I mean I can see the next station is uh, something a green which I don't know what the full station ne name is because obviously I don't know this map this area in real life <laughs> and you see this is this is essentially what you can what you can do in in this game because the signaling's not perfected, you can just go through people, you can just skip sections. Like, look, there's a red, but I'm not going to stop at it because it doesn't... Well, now it says... <laughs> so, okay, so you can spad in this, but you can overtake people. So that that's, that's a bit... That's a bit... That's a bit wrong, in my opinion. If you're going to allow trains to kind of merge through each other and just go past each other, what is the point of putting in a sort of uh, protection thing with signals where you would spad? Because there's no point. If a train can just overtake me by going through me, what's the point of ha having a red be effective and active? It just it doesn't it doesn't make any sort of sense to me. But whatever you saw there, the issue there, someone just drove through me turn to red and you'd think like okay if the signal is not up to scratch where sections are like fully occupied then why is a red enabled I, I, I just don't I just don't see the logic there but yeah I got overtaken in a train by getting fused through he just like teleported through me and phased through me essentially anyway let's hopefully get going I hope no one else kind of goes through me you know it would be great if I can just you know because technically the section behind me should have been red so why didn't that person that went through me spad and then wait 57 seconds these are the kind of questions that's all uh, into city 7 HST there in Scott Relivery and the 150 merging through that HST. Oh, I can. Oh, it gives you the the uh, distance, draw distance uh, to the next station. I, I thought that was someone's actual like tag name or something like that in the game. There's a class 20 with a DVT. Not too sure. You can see the amount of trains and traffic and stuff coming out getting spawned. It's it's crazy. There's so many variations of trains. It's 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 absolutely mad. But all the models and stuff of the train look really good, even though they're not uh, they're not uh, fully like 3D with interiors. So I have to say, not bad. Like it looks good 
the visuals of it look good. I like the track as well. It looks very... The track textures are quite nice, but everything obviously around looks quite bland and, you know, it looks like Minecraft trees, almost. And I think this is... Am I going to stop in time for this? No, I'm not. No, I don't think I am. Stop. 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 No, no, no. We'll just stop. Stop anyone on the platform. That'd be good. Good enough for me. And I arrived. And I arrived on time. <laughs> and there's a little... <laughs> you can definitely tell that this is in very much so early kind of early iterations of the map but yeah i will close the doors and we'll just carry on to the next station which is Al alton and let's get some power the the, the coaches like to wiggle a little bit <laughs> as well i like the detail of the bogeys a lot more than ser like those just look a little bit more better uh, to me than uh, the ser ones are quite basic right i have to I have to be, I think I need to be more vigilant. I need to be more vigilant on um, braking because the brakes are not as sensitive as in SCR. You like brake in SCR and it literally comes down quite fast. While here, literally you put it into brake and it actually like comes down at like, oh, please don't tell me that's the station. Okay. Well, I'm definitely overrunning this. Yep. <laughs> well, when you don't know the route. Okay, we're just carrying on to Sully Hall. We're just doing an overrun. But when you don't know the route, you don't know what distance. Like, the, 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 the station distance thing is quite blended with the map. And it doesn't, like... It only shows like where the station is, but then the text can it kind of gets molded with the map. So I literally didn't see that station until literally I was coming up on it. So stations there. I don't know what this number means. Uh, it because it doesn't go down to like zero. I don't think. But we'll. I'm going to keep an eye out now for this station a little bit, like, closer. So I tr well, I want to try and not overrun the third station in a row. And it is Solihull, of all places. I've been to Solihull. It's a very quiet little town. Nothing much going in it. Or a friend that lives in Solly Hall. He agrees too that there's just there's nothing goes on nothing goes on in Solly Hall. Some say it's the better part of Birmingham, the Birmingham area. Right. So So it does go down to zero. I don't know, I I I need to, I think I need to play on this a few more times and then I'll kind of get it or I'll learn the route. But we're coming in for a very nice controlled stop here. A little too controlled if you ask me. Is that four car? No, that's two and three. Good. Right, nicely does it. Perfect. And, and apparently we're... <laughs> I love that bruh kind of uh, thing. 
But apparently, we are on time. We're early, actually. I don't, I don't know what the timetable is here. I don't know where you would get up the timetable or like what time. Oh, well, it says due time of 13. Okay, that's fine. I just need to look at the HUD and it'll tell me all I need to know, really. But so far, nice little, nice little map. Uh, it's as it's not as polished as something like SCR. I cannot even tell. I cannot honestly say this is more polished. Uh, it has some, I would say, better things than SCR visually. Uh, but so far, just just playing it, it has obviously it's uh, it has it has its issues. We'll say that. I do like the sounds though, the sounds are quite nice. And the track, I really like the track. Right, next station is Widney Manor. Don't know any of these places. So the only thing, the only thing, only for place on this line that I probably have visited in real life is uh, is Solly Hall. Everything else here is complete like blank to me. But generally, I like that the standard trains basically do have a nice cab to actually, you know, look around. And you're not just like driving to like, you know, nothing. So that's quite nice. And I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna. You see, I can't. Oh no, wait. This no, yeah, I can't see the text. Like I did, like literally, I saw the number of the text way before. So I, I just, I don't know where the hell I am. The text like is the same color as the trees so look now it just disappears into the trees so how am i supposed to know i didn't even see the number for um for witness uh, whitney manny manor whatever it's called i didn't see the number till like, i literally was hitting the platform i know you saw the platform literally like i can't visually rely you can't drive on site driving a train that's one thing of being a driver in real life you cannot drive on site you just can't you like you just when you're driving at speed you cannot rely on just like oh yeah stations up ahead and you start slowing down you cannot do that that's why i'm struggling here i literally am just dry i'm literally driving like i'm driving a car here where i'm just looking ahead and seeing oh where sh where should i slow down oh i'll slow down here there's nothing telling me, oh, I'm like about this certain distance away from the station. I should start slowing down. I'm, I'm not getting any of that. But why are we here? 500, no, 5,000. So <laughs> we're still quite, so, quite a way. So if there's maybe a way to incorporate that distance thing into the HUD, that would be a lot better because Right now, I just cannot tell where I am on the map, and I cannot, I cannot roughly gauge distances because this distance thing is sometimes visible, is sometimes not visible. So, you know, and I hate how the um, camera moves because the, the your your mouse is like fixed onto. Uh, the screen so like when I move my mouse the whole camera moves and that also kind of when the train moves in one day or turns into a curve it's it's a little annoying in my opinion there should be like a fixed point well I don't know how to activate that sort of fixed point you'd have to oh there you go you have to zoom zoom out a bit okay and end of the line. There we go. There we go. Uh, so that is, uh, 
that was very interesting. Uh, I literally stopped correctly at one, well, two stations. Uh, well, three if you count the if you count more um, more street. But yeah, uh, there's me trying out the Snow Hill lines. Uh, beta, uh, another Roblox train sort of driving map. I really hope you enjoyed it. As it, my kind of verdict of it so far, it's very much work in progress. There's a lot of things that are not like right. Uh, it needs obviously work done. Uh, I think the models of the trains are excellent for what they are. Like from like this being like a pit, like a, without a saloon interior, I I would uh, if it just put if you just put like door animations, that would be fine. You didn't even have to go the full way. But the fact that this is this this is the base uh, compared to like what the paper trains were in SCR, this is a lot better. And generally, the whole kind of map so far for in its basic form is quite nicely laid out. Obviously, I don't know these areas that much in real life. I don't know what things are missing or how much more there is. So, but generally, it feels kind of believable that it is the snow lines. Definitely at like the Birmingham kind of side of things with Moore Street. We'll see Snow Hill at some point in the future if I decide to do a second video on this map. Um, but. I keep calling it a map. It's a game. Snow Hill Lines is a game because each of these things on Roblox is a game. It's not like a map or whatever. But in this game, in the future on the channel, we'll see what we're going to do about it. But as I said, the trains are really cool. The map is quite, I guess, a little lengthy. Uh, you have two branches to go from Birmingham with to Whitlock, um, Whitlock End, I think. Yeah. I forgot the name of the other branch line, but uh, and this one that we did today to Dorridge. And uh, yeah, HED is simple. Again, probably more suited to mobile phones and tablet devices rather than on a PC. It looks a little bit too blown up and cartoony, in my opinion. Uh, signaling is just not there yet. Uh, you should not be going through other trains and phasing through people. You should, obviously block sections you know, be worked in but for work in progress it's definitely a cool little thing to play around with and I look forward to seeing what this develops into and uh, definitely the trains and selection of trains that was already available to just play around and mess around with is very nice so definitely whoever's made this is quite a nice attempt at something here and definitely I think going in the future this, this could be a quite a nice little gem to play on Roblox so uh, thank you guys for bugging me to play it and have a go on it. I will look to maybe do another one and try out some of the other trains available as well. But there won't be much to play it on because there's only kind of realistically two kind of... But there's multiple routes. There's two kind of fundamental routes, but then you obviously have the semi-fast, fast services, express services, stopper services, slow services, all that kind of jazz. But for what it is... I enjoyed it. Uh, I think it uh, obviously needs the work put into it, but I'm sure that's happening, happening anyway. So that is the Snow Hill Lines beta, guys, on Roblox. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tell me what you think about it down below if you've played it and what you think about uh, the direction and stuff that this is going in and what maybe you expect in the future to see from it. Do let me know. My phone's not going off. But other than that, guys, take care. I'll see you around. We ain't never